the Intel Pentium Pro processor, released in 1995, was a significant advancement in its time. While its technology might seem outdated compared to modern CPUs, understanding its internal components can offer valuable insights into the evolution of processor design. Here's a breakdown of what was inside a Pentium Pro Chip Central Processing Unit, CPU, DIE Execution Units. The Pentium Pro had six execution units, two integer units, one floating point unit, FPU, a load unit, store address unit, and a store data unit. These units handled different processing tasks like calculations, data movement, and memory access, cache. It incorporated two levels of cache, L1 cache, 8 or 16 kilobyte, separate for data and instructions, stored frequently used data close to the execution units for faster access, package ceramic multi-chip module, MCM. The Pentium Pro wasn't a single chip, but two dies housed in a ceramic MCM. One die held the CPU core, and the other contained the L2 cache. Socket. It used socket tape, a specific connector interface compatible with motherboards designed for this processor. Front side bus. This bus connected the processor to the main memory and chipset. Operating at 60 or 66 MHz for data transfer, Claw Crystal regulated the internal operating frequency of the processor, typically ranging from 150 to 200 MZ. Goldage Regulator provided the necessary power to various components within the chip. Overall, the Pentium Pro was a complex and powerful processor for its time, featuring multiple execution units large L2 cache, and Big Mo's technology. While its internal design wouldn't compare to modern multi-core processors, understanding its components gives us a glimpse into the fascinating journey of processor evolution. L2 cache, located on a separate die, it offered a larger capacity of 256 kilobyte, 512 kilobyte, or even one megabyte for their reducing main memory access latency. Microprocessor core, built on a 0.50 micrometer or 0.35 micrometer BitMOS process. It housed the transistors and logic circuits responsible for core processing tasks. 